If you want to see violence with stealth and cunning tactics, you should definitely watch our picks for the best sniper movies. Number 10. The American, directed by Anton Corbijn. Who doesn't want to retire, settle down, start a new life, and find someone special? But when you're a deadly assassin just waiting for the next order, the next kill, things look quite different. But as he turns on his code and starts a hidden double life in a small Italian town, he might find more peace than is good for him. Muzzle velocity? About 360 miles an hour. That's including 20 miles an hour off for the sound suppression. Ruger. M14. I've not had one before. Number 9 Wanted, directed by Timur Bekmambetov Adapting the famous cult comic written by Mark Miller, Wanted tells the absurd story of Wesley, who accidentally slips into a world of assassinations and silent murders. Now given the chance to seek vengeance for the killing of his father, he is trained and turned into an assassin with superhuman killing abilities in order to hunt down an enemy rogue member. Sheep to kill a wolf. Number eight. That's your mulligan, Mr. Ward. Play ball. Let's go. Jack Reacher is an action thriller film written and directed by Christopher McQuarrie. Living up to the hype of Cruz's other action masterpieces like Mission Impossible, Jack Reacher is a spy story about betrayal, conspiracy, and mystery. When a shadow who lurks everywhere when people are in danger, we are invited to explore this shadow's past as we dive deep into a criminal underworld alongside spectacular action and a charismatic leading cast. Uh, you ruined my surprise. Well, I could do one better. I went down to the gun range at Hinge Creek. Got the picture, prints, and I'm going to the feds. The lawyer's all yours. Number seven. Jarhead, directed by Sam Mendes. Exploring the traumas and consequences of modern war from a whole different and refreshing perspective. Jarhead follows a young and enthusiastic soldier ready to serve for his country. But when finishing his bone-breaking training, he is forced to realize that modern war doesn't need him. And so he spends the rest of his days waiting for a war that should never break out the way he expected. You laugh, you die. Scratch your nose, you die. You shift your weight to take a piss, you will die. You want to shit, you better shit in your pants. Still kind of cute, huh, Swarth? Oh, sir. Number six. If you hang up, I will kill you. Phone Booth is a neo-noir thriller film directed by Joel Schumacher. With a purely intriguing premise based on a classic chamber play, Phone Booth is entirely based around one New York location. You can guess it by the name. Slick media consultant Stu gets a call that will change his life forever, because when he hangs up, he will be executed by a sniper rifle. But what does the stranger want from him? What are you going to do about it up in your fucking high window with your goddamn binoculars? I never said I had binoculars. I have a highly magnified telescopic image of you. Number 5. Targets, directed by Peter Bogdanovich. This dark and shocking thesis on a post-war USA has a Vietnam vet go on an insane shooting spree. Seemingly unstoppable and killing without any moral code, the shooter soon comes across a local cinema where a classic horror icon is making an appearance. Now it's a case of one against one as the movie star faces off against a psycho rooted in modern reality. <laughs> Number four. On target. On scope. Fire when ready. Shooter is a 2007 action thriller film directed by Antoine Fuqua. Ex-Marine sniper Swagger has grown disillusioned with the U.S. military system, but is asked to collaborate one more time to find a killer trying to assassinate the president. But what he couldn't know, he becomes part of a worldwide conspiracy after he is betrayed and declared enemy of the state. A bloody and thrilling manhunt begins. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I know who you are. You're Bob Lee. Swagger. Donnie's old partner. Oh, I didn't shoot the president. I know. Number three. Hold on, I got a woman and a kid 200 yards out. 
moving towards the convoy. American Sniper is a 2015 biographical war drama film directed by Clint Eastwood. U.S. Navy SEAL sniper Chris Kyle is sent to Iraq with one crucial goal, to protect his loyal comrades. His outrageous precision spares countless lives on the ground of respect. In the light of his bravery, he has earned the nickname Legend. But when he comes home, Chris discovers that it's the war he can't give up. Done some things over there that you wish you hadn't? Oh, that's not me, no. What's not you? I was just protecting my guys. They were trying to kill our soldiers, and uh, I'm willing to meet my creator and answer for every shot that I took. Number two. Pincer move, Parker! Targets, eight o'clock low! God grant me strength. Saving Private Ryan is a 1998 epic war film directed by Steven Spielberg. One of the most horrifying depictions of World War II is Saving Private Ryan, an experience to crawl down your spine and never leave again. Showing the horrors of D-Day in revolutionary, realistic ways, the story is not only depicting the violence on the battlefield, but the disturbing aftermath that tears apart the soldiers even decades later. Blessed be the Lord my strength that teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. I give up. <laughs> well, I guess the automatic sighting works. Yeah, I thought I was about to sprawl. Well, Lamont. I'm gonna have to speed test it now. Mm -hmm. Speed test. So, run. So we're ready! Number one. Did you notice you? Enemy at the Gates is a 2001 war film written and directed by Jean-Jacques Anod. Koenig, a specialist German sniper, is resolved to wipe out his imposing rival by whatever means available. In the interim, Vasily has united with a youthful Russian political foe, who brings his profile up in the Soviet Union. Koenig and Vasily start to create traps for one another, until destiny unavoidably queers the sharpshooter's pitches. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments! If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.